OpenAI's announcement of the O3 model sparked excitement and skepticism, with some claims of AGI-like capabilities dominating discussions. While its groundbreaking capabilities on benchmarks like ArcAGI and competitive coding have drawn attention, controversies surrounding its training methods and evaluation processes have raised significant questions. In this video, let's dive into the controversies, focusing on the facts and also the technical details behind the training processes and the benchmarks. So firstly, Othi's performance on the ARC AGI benchmark has been particularly contentious. The benchmark is designed to test human reasoning, not memorization, and the average human score is around 85%. Othi surpassed human performance, a monumental achievement, but critics quickly raised concerns about the validity of the results. So one of the main points of controversy is that Othi was trained on a subset of ARC AGI's public training set, which some argue undermines the validity of performance. Critics like Gary Marcus and others on social media suggested that exposure to this data could have inflated O3's results, raising questions about whether the model truly demonstrated reasoning or simply leveraged prior knowledge from the training data. It was further clarified that ARC AGI training set is publicly available and explicitly designed to help models develop core knowledge stated for the benchmark's private evaluation tasks. Importantly, OpenAI stated that O3 was not fine-tuned specifically on ArcAGI or its private evaluation data. But on Twitter, speculations about how O3 achieved a significant performance boost sparked debate. A tweet comparing it to GPT-4's announcement in March 2023 suggested that OpenAI trained on 75% of the public training set. Raising concerns about data exposure, OpenAI's webpage noted that O3 was evaluated using this subset of data but did not provide further details. Critics, including Gary Marcus, questioned if this meant that the model had seen parts of the test set, potentially inflating its results. Adding fuel to the debate, during the O3 announcement, an OpenAI engineer mentioned targeting the ARC benchmark, only for CEO Sam Altman to correct him immediately. This correction, referred to as the Altmanian slip by critics, implied deliberate fine-tuning for ARC AGI. OpenAI researchers later clarified that this was a misunderstanding, reiterating that no specific fine-tuning occurred for the benchmark. Ambiguity in OpenAI's terminology, particularly the use of the word tuned in this chart, caused further confusion. Researchers did clarify that O3's training included ARC data as part of its general dataset, but was not subjected to specialized fine-tuning targeting ARC AGI. Furthermore, O3's performance on the Frontier Math benchmark which included Olympian-level puzzles and research-grade challenges, also attracted scrutiny. Developed with input from over 60 mathematicians worldwide, this benchmark is considered highly resistant to memorization due to the lack of extensive training material in this domain. Previously, AI systems scored less than 2% on this benchmark, while O3 achieved over 25%. This dramatic improvement has been celebrated as a leap forward. Mathematicians like field medalist Terence Tao previously doubted AI could make progress on these problems in the near future, underscoring the importance of O3's results. Nonetheless, skeptics have called for greater transparency in OpenAI's training process to confirm the robustness of these achievements. In competitive coding, O3 scored 71% on Sweebench, a benchmark simulating real-world software engineering tasks. For comparison, GPT-4 scored just 50% and models from early 2023 scored just 3-4%. Critics of such benchmarks argue that they may not fully reflect a model's reasoning or creative problem solving. Despite its success, O3's computational expenses present a major challenge. A report suggested that OpenAI spent $3,000 to $4,000 per ARC AGI test. Also, as we know, the cost of compute versus performance will be getting much better uh, as, as GPT-3 already got a lot cheaper compared to when it was first introduced. Although there are controversies on some benchmark performances, I personally think O3 does showcase a strong leap forward in the performance of AI, also contradicting the point that we are hitting a wall in terms of the scaling laws. But these controversies do underscore the challenges of evaluating AI progress. And I think this makes it even more important to increase transparency in the benchmarks and find better ways to evaluate model performance. 